The inspiration for Oklahoma came in a really strange way. Um, I was working on a guitar riff that I had been working on and I didn't know what the song was going to be called. I had the chorus all blacked out and, and what came up for me is just like, tucka, tucka, Oklahoma. And I'm like going like, that's not going to work. <laughs> I had a writing session the day after New Year's with a lady named Dara Tucker, who come to find out on that day, she was from Oklahoma. And so, we wrote Oklahoma, because she had the information, I had the idea. So all these things about Oklahoma came up, and the great history, and the story of Greenwood Archer and Pine, and the story of the Trail of Tears, Oklahoma bombing, and I started thinking Oklahoma's kind of a hotbed of things happening and challenges. So the universe wanted me to sing Oklahoma, not the, the Broadway version, but the Kemp Mo version. I wanted Robert Randolph to play on the record. He was there in the studio visiting to play on another project. And so I asked him to play something on mine. I didn't have anything. All I had was Oklahoma. We had some room. So I put him on Oklahoma and he played so well. It was so inspiring that I just went and called the next day and I had people come over and record the song and we recorded it right because Robert's part was so good. So Oklahoma is a, a great home for uh, country music, Texas swing, or Oklahoma swing, what do you call it? So I had a violin player come in and play the violin solo in a bluegrass style. Then with Robert Randolph at the end, I thought it became a whole piece. Oklahoma became a, uh, a saga, so, so to speak. You know? It became really special, and it became the title track of the record, when it was probably not even gonna be on the record. The inspiration for Put a Woman in Charge came in September of 2018 at a writing session I was having with John Lewis Parker and we were writing this song. A dear friend of ours named Ed Zimmerman uh, suggested Roseanne Cash to be the guest vocalist because I couldn't sing it on my own. I had to have a woman helping me, just like we had to have Beth Women Chapman you know, help to write it. It's not about like a, a woman per se, but it's about the feminine energy that nurtures society in a positive way. So it's not about a being a woman or being a man, it's about really being more sensitive to the needs of others and the needs of society. So when you put a woman in charge, that's what happens. This Is My Home is a song about immigration. Immigration is a hotbed issue right now with our uh, government, some people in our government who remain nameless who want to build a wall. I just kind of talked about people coming from Mexico the Middle East, and I talked about my own immigrant family who came here against their will, you know, but nonetheless come here as immigrants. And what that means, what this country means to us now, you know, in a sense of it, it means this is our home. This is where we live. When I think of an album speaking to the world today, that's what music is supposed to do. It's supposed to speak to the world. Today's um, issues are tomorrow's issues as well, you know, so, we have issues with money, race, borders, there's wars, there are you know, things, pollution, there's things that are, are gonna always be an issue. Hopefully the next time we get to that issue, it's a little better, is the hope. But things are, things are going to circle, I think. So it's about Oklahoma, but it's about everywhere, really. You know, Oklahoma just happened to be the place of focus. In any kind